Yeah, yeah, it's the Cocktail 615, and what I'm doing right now is about to introduce y'all to my relationship series, okay? Um, well, let me tell you how this works. Uh, I put out a, a Facebook post of, of about an idea that I had, and I had a couple of people um, reach out and said that they would love to help me out through this exercise. And what I did was I asked them to give me three questions that they would ask on a So You Want to Date Me application and tell me a deplorable or a moment that changed you into where you are in, in relationships now. So I got single people, married people, people that are taken, people that don't know, people that are celibate. You know, I got the, the spectrum out here. So I hope you all enjoy it. Just stay tuned. Um, I probably got mm, close to 10, 12 people who, who participated. So there's no telling how it's going to come out, but uh, I hope you all enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get this show rocking. The Cocktail 615. Hey, if you have some constructive criticism, you can keep that shit to yourself. What's your age? I'm 36. 67. Okay, and what is your race? I am black. Uh, are you? <laughs> I am. I am black. <laughs> um, my, hmm. I guess my race would be uh, African American, but I, I always consider myself as being uh, politically. Uh, I don't deal with race, so I deal with political identification, and I identify, and I, and I identify myself as black. All right. <laughs> what is your relationship status today? I'm single. Single. Uh, I am a. Uh, my relationship is I'm a new grandfather. What is your sexual orientation? I'm heterosexual. Okay. Are you currently sexually active? Yes. Uh, no. Okay. Have you, how many exclusive adult relationships have you had? And we can say adult as of the age of 18. As of the age of 18, let's see, three. Three. Okay. I guess only one. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been married? Yes. Yes. Ha do you have any children? No biological children. Okay. Uh, yes, I have two. Um, what is your greatest strength as a significant other? Oh. I think I kind of touched on that a few minutes ago, um, that I go out of my way. I'm, a, I'm naturally just a pleaser. That's just me. It makes me happy when other people are happy. So um, I go out of my way to learn the person that I'm interested in. So I want to know your likes and your dislikes and, you know, what makes you tick, what makes you happy, what doesn't, so that I can make sure that I'm doing what needs to be done to make sure that you're good. <laughs> Do you like women or men? I love women. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think that that's important in 2020? Oh, no, I don't know. I think it's important for me. Yeah. I, you know, uh, I think it's important to, to know what you like. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I have always enjoyed the company of women. And, and going back, I mean, I have had only... I've only had really uh, a very small number of men friends. Uh, you can count them on you can count them on my hand. The people, who, you know, men who I consider to be my friend. Uh, but uh, I, I, I like women. What is the perfect date, and what is the best date you have been on? Mm. Man, that's loaded. Um, I'm I'm a girl that doesn't take much to make happy when it comes to date stuff. Okay. So, perfect date for me could be going to a football game because I love football. All right. So, okay. Okay. They're really the perfect date is going to be dependent upon the person. What is your greatest weakness as a significant other? Hmm. Mm. So, in your, because you are, mm -hmm. um, you know, how you are, what yeah. do you think your greatest weakness was? My greatest weakness was uh, don't start crying on me. 
I'm, I'm vulnerable to because I'm because I want to fix stuff. Yeah. I gotta I gotta have I gotta have the answer to stuff. I gotta fix stuff. And so if if you start crying, then immediately I go into fix mode. And then and a lot of stuff you just can't fix. Sure. Um, but but I gotta I gotta figure out how to how to how to make it how to make it happen. And in some cases, um, all you do is make it worse. So let's see, what personality traits are you attracted to? Mm. Um, I mean, the basics. I mean, there's, I, I'm not that girl that's like, you have to have this and be this. And, uh, that's not me. I, I just like your basics. Be funny. Be funny. So you, know, you like somebody who's comical. Yeah, be funny. You know, you ain't got to be goofy. You know, right, but be right. funny. You know, be, um... Be caring, be considerate. You know the basics. Nothing, nothing spectacular. What's your favorite physical feature of your own? Okay, of your own. What do you think that your your most recognizable feature that people would say if they were talking about you would be your best physical feature? Hmm. I, I, I think. I think I, I think I have a nice smile. Nice smile. I think I have a nice smile. Okay. So do you um, use that smile to your benefit, or do you? I mean, how, how do you how do you use that? Like, do you when you see somebody that you're attracted to, do you just start smiling haphazardly, or is that something that they have to catch? Oh, they had to catch it. They had to catch it because I know. Um, I, because I'm I'm careful I'm I'm careful with a smile. Um, um, uh, when when I finally do smile, then then somebody knows that they have they have they have captured my attention. I just don't smile. Uh, I just don't smile at anybody. This says, are you a go with the flow type of type, or do you have rules for sexual interaction like a ninety day Steve Harvey rule? To each their own. No, I'm talking. Um, we talk about as you, far though. As me. <laughs> yeah, we talk about you. I don't. I don't have hard set rules anymore. Um, it just doesn't work for me because I mean, if I'm feeling you, I'm feeling you. It's it's what it's gonna be. If I'm feeling you, day one or day ninety. I mean, I just don't. I personally don't like setting those types of limitations on myself or on somebody else. Um, I think it ruins natural interaction and. It ruins, like we said, flow. And none of these cards got no dollars on them, okay? What is your biggest relationship regret? regret. Mm. Mm. I, I think probably, probably my, probably my biggest regret was, um. I, I try. I I try to be a good all-round person. Right. Okay. And when you and so when you try to be a good all-around person, and you and you know that you have the love and the respect of of the person you're in a relationship. Oftentimes, you take them for granted that they will understand why you are trying to be a good person to somebody else. So, mm. if, if you know, that's my regret. I Do you think of yourself as an introvert or an extrovert? Mm. I actually think of myself as neither. Oh, really? So I what? Do. What? what? I, there's actually a term for it, and for some reason, it's blanking on me right now. But I'm kind of in the middle because there are some things that I consider myself to be very much so extroverted, and there are others that I'm like, please leave me alone and get away from me. On a scale of one to ten, ten being the high, how would you rate your physical appearance? Mm. Uh, well, if you had asked me earlier today, I probably would have said a three. <laughs> 
Uh, but I got a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm probably up to, uh, you know, I'm probably up to a, um, um, I'm up to whatever um, and whoever's looking. <laughs> Come on, no, no, no. Tell me, tell me, tell me, how do you rate yourself? How do I rate myself? Oh, I rate myself as being, um, uh, Probably uh, six, seven. Six, okay. Have you ever had any arguments over social media use in the past or current relationships? Have I had any arguments? Over social media, meaning, um, oh, man, this girl liking your, too many of your posts. Oh, oh this girl uh, inboxing you. Uh, um, Yeah. I have, but um, it was because I'm an extremely observant person. And uh, this particular ex wasn't. And so he didn't know how to hide things well. So he didn't know how to, Aces, don't be all up on my posts and don't do that. Like, he had the broad out here making collages and some more. And I'm like, come on, bro, you think I'm not going to see them? Be like, what she got going on? Why is she doing that? You know, so... Um, in that instance, yes, but that that's the only time that there was ever an issue um, because, honestly, prior to that relationship, I wasn't even big on, I need to put my boo on social media and nah. let's, let's take pictures and self us right, right, right. I, I really wasn't even into that, but he was that guy that was like, hey, we need to be taking more pictures together, and I need you to tell people, tell people you love me on social media and all that, and I'm like... For what? You know I love you. You know I need, right. but I need you to say it in public. Okay, whatever. You know, so it was only at that point that I even got into all of that. I didn't even care, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I, I definitely had some of those. But again, that's just because I'm observing enough to see clearly. A year ago, this person didn't exist, and now today. They popping, they popping up, every, up on every, every post, post. <laughs> but miraculously, anything that's got us in it together, she don't like it. Yeah. Why is that? You yeah, know, yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. How do you define intimacy? Jesus. Well, uh, I, I would define intimacy as being uh, connected to the point where you understand. Uh, what makes uh, a, a person, what brings them joy and what uh, brings them anger uh, to that moment of where you, you know how they, you know how they're going to respond and you know what response uh, and the intimacy comes in when you know how they need to respond and you make them feel that way. I would say intimacy to me doesn't have to have an in-the-box definition, um, but in general, it's anything that I only want to share with you. Mm. Um, if I only want to share that with you, that's intimacy. It doesn't have to be sexual. It doesn't even have to be physical. Um, it could very much be mental. It could very much be emotional. But if it's something that I only want to share with you and no one else, then it becomes intimate. Have you been able to accomplish all of your sexual fantasies? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on. Let me get this right. <laughs> you are you are 60 plus years old. Uh-huh. You've had one relationship, right? And your sexual fantasies have not been accomplished, right? What's up with that? What's up with that? Like, I think that sexual chemistry and being able to fulfill all of your sexual fantasies is an important part in 2020. Like, like, why would I be with you if you're not willing to lick pop ass honey off my big toe and then tell me I am sexy like if that is something that is a sexual fantasy and you haven't been able to accomplish that like how how do you deal with that in relationship well see see well because because you're dealing with you're dealing with uh, sexual fantasies as being sexual acts for me, sexual fantasies are about experiences. And so, um, 
Uh, what did you say? Lick honey off a... Uh, Pop ass honey off your big toe. <laughs> let, let Halle Berry come in here. <laughs> and, and, and want some honey licked off her big toe. Then it's going to be honey I'm licked, licked off, off her big toe. Right, 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 right. <laughs> what are your thoughts on polyamorous relationships? Mm. My personal thoughts on polyamorous relationships are that I don't like to share my liquor, so I don't share my men knowingly. Mm. Um, that's just me. Um, but I feel like if it works for you, right. and that's what you got going on, more power to you. Do you disclose the number of sexual partners to someone you're dating? No. Why? Why? So, so if they ask. Because, see, I, yeah. I've been asked this question. I have been asked this question while dating. Oh, see, for me, I don't ask questions I don't really want to know the answer to. Real talk, because then what if he be like, I really don't know. It's like, well, you don't know because it's a lot of them. Or like, why don't you know? And it's like, I don't know. I lost count after 50. See, now we got a problem that we might not have had. Have total control over your home no matter where you are in the world. Titan Home Security. They got smart home security equipment at no cost for equipment with free installation and activation. Packages starting at $39.99 flat rate. Contact Dustin Hall, manager at Titan Home Security, 615-601-1760. Use promo code COCKTAIL. That's promo code C-O-C-K-T-A-I-L.